Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Many of you have already made the change from WhatsApp to Signal following the changes to WhatsApp's privacy agreement. This move indicates that privacy is clearly of great concern to you. And since this is the case, I would like to share with you a way to get even more privacy from your new Signal app. One concern that people have about the Signal app is the need to use your personal cell phone number to sign up to the app. This is an issue because if you'd like to remain anonymous online, your cell phone number isn't something that you'd like to be giving out to an app manufacturer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a phone number that's not directly linked to you as a workaround for this issue. If you're in Canada, like I am, you'll need to download an app called Fongo Talk and Text. If you're in the US, a similar outcome can be achieved by downloading Google Voice. I'm going to start off by downloading Fongo from the App Store. If you're in the US, download Google Voice. Once the download is complete, go ahead and launch the app. Hit OK to allow the microphone, but don't allow contacts. Click on Register to register for a new account. And note, for an extra layer of anonymity, you can create a brand new separate email address and use that to register for this app. Fill out the required information on this page, complete the CAPTCHA information, then hit continue. Pick a province, pick a city, and then select a number. Ensure to make a note of what that number is. The next screen asks for your address, but I'll leave it up to you as to whether or not to input an actual address. Once you've entered whatever information you've decided to enter, click on continue. Agree to their terms and services, and then hit next. You'll receive a verification email in your inbox, so be sure to go to your email and verify yourself. Once you're verified, click on the login button and log into the app. Don't allow the notifications and say no to have your password stored in the cloud. Now open Signal. Click Continue. Click Enable. Then type the phone number that the Fongo app generated for you. Then click Next. The Fongo app does not accept the type of automated text messages that Signal generates, so we'll have to wait for the timer to count down on Signal so that we can use the Call Me Instead option. Now that the timer has reached zero, tap I didn't get a code. Then tap Call Me Instead. You'll get a call from an automated voice reading you your security code. Type those numbers in and then proceed to finish your setup of Signal. For people that live in Canada, the Fongo app is free. But if you live in the United States, I recommend using Google Voice like I said before. Otherwise, Fongo does charge you. Another additional layer of security that I'd like to talk about really quick are VPNs. VPNs allow you to browse the internet anonymously without giving up personal information like your IP address or your browser history. Most VPN apps are about $100 per year. I found one that's on sale for a limited time for $19.99 for a whole year. And this gives you access to use it on up to five devices. It's also compatible with your iPhone, your Android phone, your Windows PC, and your Apple computer. Right now you can get it on sale from Amazon for $19.99, but I don't know how long that sale will last, but I put the link in my description below, so check it out. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.